According to the Ukrainian Air Force, on the night of May 4th, an American-manufactured Patriot air defense missile accomplished its first successful interception of one of Russia's most advanced conventional weapons over Kyiv. Lieutenant General Mikola Oleschuk, the commander of the Ukrainian Air Force, in a statement posted on the Telegram messaging app, said, I congratulate the Ukrainian people on a historic event. Yes, we have shot down the unparalleled Kinzhal. Administrators reported that a strong explosion occurred above central Kyiv, which they stated was the destruction of the Kinzhal missile. This explosion shook windows and woke people up from their sleep. Forensic teams gathered fragments from the explosion, which were scattered across the streets near the government quarter in the city center. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the Russian Kinzhal missile got busted by Patriot Air Defense in Ukraine. Let's get into the details. Three high-ranking officials in the United States have confirmed that a Patriot missile successfully shot down the Russian hypersonic Kinzhal missile, providing evidence for the first time that Western missile defense systems can overcome Russia's hypersonic weapons, which were touted by President Vladimir Putin as invincible. According to U.S. officials, they were informed of the strike by the Ukrainian military via classified channels. One official stated that U.S. military analysts were able to verify the assertion using technical methods. President Vladimir Putin announced the system in an annual State of the Nation address in 2018. The Kinzhal, meaning dagger, was among several latest generation strategic weapons that Putin said at the time could overcome any U.S. missile defenses. Russia used the Kinzhal missile for the first time in Ukraine in March of last year. Combat use of Kinzhal in Ukraine marked the beginning of the hypersonic weapons era. A weapon is designated to be hypersonic if it can travel at speeds beyond Mach 5. Hypersonic weapons combine the high speed of a traditional ballistic missile with the maneuverability of a cruise missile, making them almost unstoppable. There are several methods being applied to make hypersonic platforms, which include a scramjet engine, boost glide vehicle, and ALBM, or air-launched ballistic missile. Kinzhal is an ALBM. Kinzhal has a range of approximately 2,000 kilometers, or 1,250 miles, when launched from MiG-31, but can reach 3,000 kilometers, or about 1,865 miles, when fired from Tu-22M3 bomber. The Kinzhal goes ballistic seconds after it has been launched from an aircraft, unlike cruise missiles. It's thought to be a variant of the ground-launched Iskander-M short-ranged ballistic missile. It reportedly has a top speed of more than 10 times the speed of sound. It has a terrain matching sensor, as well as an active radar seeker, and is thought to be powered by a solid propellant rocket. It can carry a warhead of 500 kilograms or around 1,100 pounds. Kinzhal is also reported to be nuclear capable and able to hit ground as well as naval targets. As per Russian claims, Kinzhal is capable of making rapid course corrections, or otherwise fly erratically. Mr. Putin claimed in 2018, it is invincible against all existing and prospective missile defense and counter-air defense systems. The American Patriot Air Defense System is an all-weather, tactical, mobile air defense system. The word Patriot is an acronym for Phased Array Tracking Radar for Intercept on Target. It was formerly known as SAMD. It's manufactured by defense contractor Raytheon and entered service in 1981. The system has seen many upgrades since then, and the capability has been enhanced to meet emerging threats. Each Patriot battery consists of a truck-mounted launching system with eight launchers that can hold up to four missile interceptors each, a ground radar, a control station, and a generator. The latest variant of the Patriot is the Pac-3. The Patriot Pac-3 uses a passive, electronically scanned array radar. It's equipped with IFF, identification, friend or foe, and an electronic counter-countermeasure to resist jamming. 
The radar has a range of around 160 kilometers, or 100 miles. Patriot Pac-3 introduced the new MIM-104F missile, which is also referred to as the Pac-3 missile. It has reduced size compared to previous Patriot missiles and is more maneuverable. It costs about $4 million each. The Patriot missile uses a Track Via Missile, or TVM, guidance system. After the missile is launched, mid-course guidance is provided by the Mobile Control Center, which uses the radar to direct the missile toward the target. In the terminal phase, the KA Band Active Radar Seeker in the nose of the Pac-3 missile acquires the inbound threat. This radar selects the radar return, most likely to be the warhead of the incoming missile, and directs the interceptor towards it. The missile uses a hit-to-kill strategy, though it has a small, high-fragmentation warhead to enhance the kill probability. The warhead, also known as Lethality Enhancer, has 24 tungsten fragments that are launched in a radial direction, increasing the probability of interception. Two missiles can be launched 4.2 seconds apart in a ripple. The second missile locates any debris which may be a warhead and attacks in a similar manner. For aerial targets like aircraft and drones, the Patriot MIM-104F missile has an engagement range of 160 kilometers or 100 miles, whereas for ballistic missiles, it has a range of around 30 kilometers or around 18 and a half miles. At a cost of approximately $1.1 billion, the Patriot represents the most expensive individual weapons system that the United States has provided to Ukraine, with $400 million allocated for the system and $690 million for the missiles. Despite Kyiv's appeals to the Pentagon, the weapons since the beginning of the war, the first Patriot systems only arrived in Ukraine last month. For over a year, Ukraine lacked an air defense system capable of countering Russia's arsenal of ballistic or hypersonic missiles such as the Kinzhal. Western analysts have remained skeptical calling Kinzhal an upgraded version of existing air-launched ballistic missiles instead of a revolutionary weapon. According to Ian Williams, Deputy Director of the Missile Defense Project at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, a Washington think tank, under the right conditions, a Patriot might be capable of taking down one of the fast-moving Kinzhal missiles. Mr. Williams noted, as reported in the New York Times, Hitting a Russian Kinzhal with a Patriot missile would be tough, but not impossible. There are a lot of factors, such as where the Patriot is, where that Kinzhal was headed, and whether or not it was maneuvering. It's evident that Kinzhal, like many other Russian weapons, is overhyped. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.